Hey there everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the process of creating a multi-material, multi-dimensional laser cut ADA office sign, showing every step from the graphic design to the finished laser cut result. This tutorial will use CorelDRAW for the graphic creation. Any version of CorelDRAW should work to create dimensional signage. Dimensional signage is an outstanding method of sign building. It can be fabricated from all kinds of materials to produce eye-catching looks only limited to the imagination. In this example video, I will be using this mock-up as the base for this project. Open CorelDRAW and design or import the design shape to start. I will use this design and break it into four different files to cut each material on the laser. The first file will be used to make the base out of solid cherry wood. First, duplicate the design by selecting it and then selecting Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Then move the duplicate over, leaving the original unmodified. Now delete the parts that are not needed. Then with the drawing selected, right mouse button click on the red outline color and left click on the slash to remove the fill. Now select just the inside lines and change the color to blue by right clicking on the blue color on the color palette. The red line will be set to cut with a laser and the blue line will be used to create a mark for alignment in the final assembly. Now save this file as a standalone file. Solid cherry wood will be used as the base for this file. Scan this QR code to order the cherry wood used in this video. Open the Trotec Ruby software, then directly go to the prepare screen and drag the saved file from the desktop or a folder into the Ruby prepare screen. Position design to match the orientation of the wood inside the laser, then select the 5mm cherry wood material from the materials database and send the file to the laser. Place the cherry wood sheet into the laser, focus and start the laser job. The laser will cut the red line and then produce a thin marked line from the blue line creating a finished wooden base for this sign. Once complete, set aside for later. Now go back to CorelDRAW and again duplicate the mock-up design, this time deleting everything besides the blue section of the sign. Then right click on the red outline and left click on the slash to remove the fill. Select the sign text and then right click on the blue color. Now save this section as a second file from the first file. This file will be on a satin blue cast acrylic with white dimensional ADA letters. Scan each QR code to order the materials used on this sign. Open the Trotec Ruby software again and drag this new file into the prepare screen. Now select the 3mm Trolays acrylic parameter from the materials database. Once the parameter is selected, Deselect the blue color and send the file to the laser. Now take some double-sided adhesive sheeting and adhere it to one side of the blue satin cast acrylic. Place the acrylic into the upper left-hand corner of the laser system to maintain orientation. Focus and start the laser file. Once the acrylic is cut, peel the film from the face and put it back into the exact location using a template or the laser rulers. Now go back to the prepare screen in Ruby and with the same file change the material parameter to the Trolays ADA setting. And this time deselect the red color, select the blue color and send that file to the laser. Now take a small piece of Trolays ADA plastic and remove the double sided adhesive on the back. Place the plastic where the dimensional text will cut and gently press it down. Refocus the laser to the surface of the plastic and cut the lettering. Once complete, remove from the laser and peel the excess plastic away. Then use a dry cloth to remove the protective film from the surface of the lettering. Note that the more time that passes, the harder the plastic will be to peel, so this should be done as soon as possible. Once finished, set this section aside with the other parts. Go back to CorelDRAW and select the oval at the bottom of the mock-up sign. Choose Ctrl plus D to duplicate that oval and move it aside. While selected, right click on the red and left click on the slash to remove the fill. Now save this oval as a third standalone file. This file will be used as a spacer cut from black acrylic. Scan this QR code to order this acrylic used in this sign. Open Ruby and drag this file to the prepare screen like before. 
Then position the graphic to where the material is located on the machine. Then select the 3mm acrylic material setting from the materials database and send that file to the laser. Now adhere a sheet of double-sided adhesive to one side of the black acrylic. Then place the acrylic into the laser, focus and cut the file. When finished, remove from the laser and set aside with the other completed parts. Now for the final section, go back to Corel and select and duplicate the number and braille font selection of the file. Convert to an outline, this time changing the numbers on the sign to the blue color and the outline and the braille dots as a red cut line. Then save this as a fourth and final file for this design. This final file will be cut from Trolley's Metallic Plus Plastic with Trolley's ADA Plastic Lettering adhered to the surface. Scan the QR codes for these materials used in this design. Open the Trotec Ruby software again and drag this final file into the prepare screen. Then position the graphic onto the field. Now select the metallic Trolay's material from the materials database. And then deselect the blue color and send that file to the laser. Now place a sheet of Trolay's metallic brushed aluminum sheeting with the adhesive backing into the upper left hand corner of the laser tied against the rulers to maintain orientation or use a laser cut template. Focus and cut the file. Now go back to the prepare screen in the Ruby software and with that same file in the exact same location change the material to the Trolay's ADA plastic and this time skip the red color and turn on the blue. Then send the file to the laser for processing. Now without moving the original part on the laser, peel the double-sided adhesive from the back of the ADA plastic and place it onto the metallic silver in the location of the text, pressing gently. Now refocus the laser to the new material and run the file. Remove from the laser, then quickly remove the excess plastic around the lettering. Please note that this double-sided adhesive will become far more challenging to remove as time passes. All the parts of this sign are now complete. The wooden base, the blue acrylic face with white ADA letters, the black acrylic spacer, and the brushed aluminum plastic with black ADA plastic. It is now time for assembly. To assemble, take the blue acrylic and peel the double-sided adhesive from the backside and gently align and adhere to the cherry wood base using the laser cut marks as reference. Now take the black acrylic spacer, peel the adhesive backing and align it to the vector marked oval on the wooden base. Now take the final brushed aluminum plastic part with the black ADA lettering and remove the double-sided adhesive from the back. Take a small piece of high-grade double-sided tape and place it over the braille holes on the back side. Then remove the adhesive backing from that tape and place onto the black acrylic spacer. The final step is to place the ADA beads into the laser cut holes, which can be done by hand or by using the accent signage raster pen. Scan this QR code for information on the braille beads and the raster pen tool. Using the raster pen tool, plunge the beads into the laser cut holes with the adhesive tape on the underside to keep the braille beads in place. The sign is now complete. This laser cut sign is an excellent example of what is possible with laser cutting and engraving technology, producing this multi-dimensional, multi-material sign that will truly stand out. To get you started, the design files and the braille font shown in this video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.